Hi everyone, welcome to an uh, awesome presentation from Mike Heck. Mike is the uh, Vice President of Business Development at um, Universal Display Corporation. And today he will tell us about phosphorant OLEDs for next generation products. Mike, over to you. Great. Thank you, Christoph. Thanks for the introduction. And it's a pleasure to be speaking to you all today. Obviously, it's not the same as actually seeing you, but hopefully we're moving towards times where we'll be able to do that in person. But anyway, today the title of my talk is Phosphorescent OLEDs for Next Generation Products. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about UDC, Phosphorescent OLEDs, where OLED technology is heading, and then a novel dry printing technique that we are developing and commercializing at UDC called OVJP, Organic Vapor Jet Printing. So anyway, a bit about who we are. So I think most of you are familiar with UDC, Universal Display Corporation by now. We've been developing and researching and also commercializing technologies, pretty much totally uh, focused on the OLED area uh, for over 25 years now, since the mid nineties. We've got many uh, technologies that we've licensed uh, and acquired and, and worked with uh, for instance, Steve Forrest and Mark Thompson from uh, Princeton and now Michigan and University of Southern California to build up our technology base. And these patents are issued worldwide. But what we do, a lot of it is focused around the emissive layer of OLEDs. So that's the layer that efficiently converts electrical energy into light. And our phosphorescent OLED technology enables that conversion to occur in a way that's nearly 100% efficient. And we have these phosphorescent OLED emissive systems now commercialized for red, green, and yellow. The materials, because we realized early on that the materials are sort of somewhat novel and the purity and quality of these materials is absolutely critical to getting good device performance. So we partnered with PPG Industries and they're made here in the US by PPG. PPG then, uh, supply those materials to UDC. We do the device qualification at UDC and then in commercial use since 2003. So nearly 20 years now uh, since the first OLED displays use our phosphorescent materials. And then looking at what's important in OLED technology to grow uh, the technology in the marketplace. So beyond phosphorescence, we're also looking at new ways of using OLEDs, OLED architectures, uh, and I'll show you a new example of that to do with plasmonics later in my talk. But also, uh, and this will be a focus, this is the dry printing that I talked about, where massless printing or org organic vapor jet printing, OVJP, which is a way of printing OLEDs, which has always been the holy grail, so as to reduce waste, but to do it in a way where we don't need to deal with liquid solvents and the problems associated with those. So there's a new process that we've been developing, originally invented by Steve Forrest, and uh, we're now set up OBJP Corporation to commercialize this technology. We're also active you know, in sister areas, if you like, of, of organic electronics uh, related to OLED. So we have obviously a lot of expertise in organic devices and making organic materials. And so there's other areas of organic electronics that we're now active in. And about five or six years ago, we actually bought Adesis, which is our chemical research organization uh, set up in Delaware. And they make a lot of our pilot scale and, and development materials for UDC. That's why we have developed a close relationship with them. And actually they have also a business where they will make organic materials uh, for third parties uh, and do that as a business sort of independent of, of, of the UDC mothership. So Adesis um, offers its CRO services uh, to anyone that wants them to use our expertise. And, and, and that's something that we greatly value because they have uh, the ability to make high purity and high quality organic materials. So with that, just a little bit about UDC. Uh, we now believe that this, you know, 2020 is a decade for growth for OLEDs and we're seeing a lot of growth as I'll show you throughout the talk. So the company is headquarters in New Jersey, but we have subsidiaries and branch offices now, uh, particularly focused in Asia and also in Ireland. Um, on the R&D side, most of the R&D is conducted in New Jersey. But as I mentioned, we have Adesis, our CRO, and then OVJP Corp to commercialize OVJ 